Now, to really set the principles set out in my first video on, on the calculation of pH using the little chart that I showed you there, this little guy right here, where we have the numbers and their corresponding logs. Okay, and we're going to change this, or we're going to go ahead and do a couple of example problems so that you can actually see how this actually works. Now, we're given zero, let's, let's cover this up so you can concentrate a little better on what's given. It's 0 .5, 0 0.050 molar hydrochloric acid. We're supposed to find the pH. So, we are going to go and take the hydrogen ion concentration as equal to the hydrochloric acid concentration because it's a strong acid. And now we're going to take this number change it to a into scientific notation like we did in the last video and we're going to take the minus log. So if we take the minus log of this number we start out by using the minus 2 change the sign and make it 2 then we take 5 and we find 5 on our little chart. 5 is, uh, can you see here we got 0 0.70 that's the value of the logarithm of the number 5. So, let's go back over here now, and we see that the 0.70 is put in here as a minus number to be subtracted from the power of 10 changed into a regular number. And the number that we wind up with, 1.30, becomes our pH. Here's a second example. This time... Let's concentrate again on just the given and find. We're going to be given 0 0.40 molar sodium hydroxide. Now we're asked to find the pH. But we got to be careful here because this is hydroxide. It is a strong base, and so the hydroxide ion concentration will be equal to what the molarity was of the sodium hydroxide itself because I get one hydroxide for every one of these molecules because they separate 100%. So let's see how that works out. We're going to take the minus log of this number. We're first going to put it in scientific notation. And we now have 4.0 times 10 to the minus 1. Now we take that minus 1, change its sign, and that becomes a 1. We look up 4 in our little table here. And 4 is a value of 0.6. So we take our 0.6 and we put it right in here as a negative and subtract it out to come out with 0 0.40. And that is the value of the pOH. So when I take the pH and uh, to, to find the pH, that is, I have to take 14 and subtract this number to come up with my pH. So the actual pH here is 13.6. Now, this next problem deals with aluminum hydroxide, which has three hydroxide ions. And we are given this as the molarity of the aluminum hydroxide. Well, looky here. We're again asked to find the pH, not the pOH. Now, this is the way most people would solve this problem if they're not keeping their head on straight. Okay? They would take the minus log of this number as, a, as it is in scientific notation. They'd get the 3 from the minus 3, subtract the 0.85, which we get off the table when we look up 7. Let's see here, 0.85. And come up with 2.15, which is the pOH, subtract it from 14, and we get 11.85. And that would be the pH, with one little problem. Each aluminum hydroxide gives us three hydroxides instead of the one that we got with sodium hydroxide. And since any metal with a hydroxide ions hooked to it is considered a strong base, that would have been okay, except that there's three of them.
So this is the way we should do the problem. We take three times the concentration because each of these gives us three of these. One of the aluminum hydroxides carries with it three hydroxide ions. So we have to take whatever the concentration is and multiply it by three. That's how we come up with 0.021 molarity of the hydroxide ion. So now we start with the correct numbers and this should work out okay. When we change this guy into scientific notation, we come up with 2.1 times 10 to the minus 2. Then we're going to take the minus log of that. And so we go over here. The minus log is going to be 0.33 for the, the 2.1. So the 2.1 on here, you can see, is going to be between 2 and 3, closer to the 3. So I estimated it at 0.33. The 2 here came from the minus 2 over here after we changed the sign. And that's how we got our initial setup to find out our pOH. OH because we are dealing with a molecule that carries hydroxides. And now we just subtract from 14 like we did before. Okay, the value of the pOH subtracted from 14 becomes 12.73 and that's our pH. Now you should be able to find the minus log of any hydrogen or hydroxide ion concentration.